Three two coming. Two high ball four. Second walk of the inning for Quintana and his third of the night. Had news today with Bo Bichette going back on the injured list with a quad injury. It is last time up and he fouls one away. Uh, the changeup from Quintana 0 and 2. Well, the Blue Jays assigned. What does that do for them? I think it moves their third baseman to shortstop. Chapman? Well, Chapman's hurt. It's 1 2 coming. And that changeup just missed. 2 and 2. Alvarez thought it was a strike. <laughs> he doesn't say much. Popped up behind first. Alonzo backpedaling. Finally see you guys. I'm, I'm listening to you and watch. never in person. Neil grounds. Him. So what is what are your sort these days? Oh, well, his chair. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a good thing. No, it is a good thing. <laughs> Along in the high chair. You know, that has changed over the last decade or so. Oh, boy. That's that's a big change. Uh, he is uh, the clock right now, the pitching clock, and I think it's wonderful to, for the game. I think it's, it, um, so I think positioning has been has been a big difference of, of quality. It has really moved up. And that one counts, those three zero counts, those hitter counts that we all like to get in. Um, I think knowing your hot zone, yep. you knew your hot zone. So are you talking? You're teaching this. At what level do you, was what we were trying to? Trying to have in a year, not 200, 150. Uh. The approach now, and we, we heard Steve mention this about his conversation with Brandon Nip. An opportunity, you've got to hurt the pitcher, and you've got to slug. And guys, you go too far one way depending on the situation. So, what is, I guess, that tightrope walk as a player? Or, okay, you want to. You know, Steve, I just find it remarkable as the base hit up the middle. By Tavares, I have an 18 year old kid and you go to you go to camp and someone's there that's going to be glad I played when I played. Semyon breaks his bat, Mendick over to his left, makes the off balance throw on a high. Denny Mendick who's been all over the place defensively leads off against Andrew Heaney and takes a strike. Mendick fly. Authenticator and the authenticator has to send it out to a special expert wood consultant who does stuff Still epidemic going on for a while and Major League Baseball has done well to try and identify the types of a lot of things going on right automatic umpires and my bat in the sweet spot a little tiny knock because that would be hard as a rock wow why did you can why did you okay. can boy if you got a bat with um, on the barrel it had uh, only five players still using white ash as LoCastro goes down on strikes, Heaney's got six. Heaney, a pair of lefties, matching zeros for five innings. Third time around the batting order for Quintana, Corey Seager. <sighs> Heaney's got a little lower pitch count. He was at 68 through five, Quintana at 83. Seager watches the fastball down, and it's three and one. Last time out. Seager gets one in the air to right center field. Back in the gap goes McNeil. Nathaniel Lowe. How's that even possible? I don't know. Lowe has a double and a walk. Stealthily having an outstanding year. He's late on that fastball up in the zone, and it's 0 and 2. And he goes with the sinker that misses inside. 1 and 2. Do that right now. Slapped over third, just foul. Dane from Quintana. And low retired for the first time tonight. Four. As he takes a line down and grounded into a double play. And he takes the fastball away, 2 0. Oh. So we started the night talking about a home run against the Phillies. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe he's trying to audition. For and he slices that one foul, and it's 0 oh 2. He's just not going to attempt any more, period. And Lindor goes down on the high fastball, and Heaney's got his seventh strikeout. Jams McNeil, who fouls it off. Well, he and Tyler Anderson, 0 and 2. And McNeil hits another one to the hole, and that'll go through for a hit. Nemo will stop at second against the. Stratton, who came over with Jordan Montgomery from the Cardinals at the trading deadline. He came in on Anzo, a walk and a strikeout tonight. He pops one up in foul ground, playable for low. And that's the two tonight. You know, Whitey Herzog told me when he looked at it for a reliever and back when when we played back in the and Whitey said he wanted relievers that got that first out. 
Dryden tempts him with a breaking ball, but it's down and it's two and two. He barely held that one, Brez. And it's in there for a call strike three. Go looking at a front door slot. And Smith falls behind on Grossman, two and zero. Oh. I'll take a look at the side swing here. And Drew misses three times in a row with the high fastball, and it's 3 0 to grow too much for him. That's a four pitch walk after the home run, and Grossman is aboard. Well, he's running first pitch, swung and missed. The throw by Alvarez way too late. So that's 18. And he threw a fastball by him, and it's one and two. And the breaking ball hit out to center field. And Nemo eases in under it. Do you want to come back down here? Oh, let's stay here permanently. We'll move the SNY suite up to the fifth floor. How about that? The food's good, then. I'm caught last night and went two for three in a walk. Coming to Heim. And this is down with a changeup. Two and two. And Heim takes a fastball upstairs and it's three and two. That three two, and the curveball struck him out. Heim foul tipped it for strike three. What what does he equalize? <laughs> Whatever he wants to equalize. Criminals. It's them. <laughs> <laughs> like the wicked witch of the west. Grounded down to first, and Alonso will handle it himself. And that retires the side, but Garbers hold nothing. Bottom of the seventh, and first pitch breaking ball swung and missed. Nothing and one. The Entos was a pitcher, right? Like David Peterson, who grew up in Colorado. That's right. Because of the. Oh, and now the amazing chicken is coming in. Located in Taste of the City on the pitch. <coughs> up and away. What's the count? Two and zero. Oh. Okay. Uh, takes fastball at the knees for a strike, two and one. Maybe we could have, you know, we have to kick someone who always wanted to, but. You mean like Bob in Pittsburgh? Like Bob. Dick. It is. Really, the guy I want is the guy who said anybody can. Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my Steve? God. Yeah. I hear you have another play by play gig on your uh, on your Genron. Well, that's lined up the middle, and Mendick's got a base hit. And the Mets get the tying run aboard in this. Change up misses away, and it's one and one to Arauz. And he pops one foul back toward our usual booth. <laughs> On the ground down to third, Duran had him played perfectly along the line and gets the force to end the inning.